Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be trying out the new Fenty foundation. I'm super excited about this new release. I know it has taken a while for me to get the foundation, but you know, we don't have a Sephora here, so I had to wait for someone to go overseas, get to Sephora and get me the foundation. So I finally have the foundation here and today we'll be talking more about it. So please like, subscribe and comment down below. So first things first, um, this is the packaging of the foundation. So this is the new Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation by Fenty Beauty. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Fenty and when they released this new product, I was like super duper excited. A little bit stressed out that I might not be able to get my hands on it because I'm not leaving the country anytime soon. But luckily for me, my husband was traveling. <laughs> luckily for me, my husband was traveling, so he managed to get this foundation for me. So I just did a little Google search here, and I'm just gonna give you some details about it. It has the same amount of um, shades as the matte one, and I am in the color 410. I haven't tested it out. I just assumed that if I'm in 14 in the matte one, then I'll be 14 in the hydrating one. And yeah, just to read up a little bit about it, I'm trying to see here if there's any information. The price on the Fenty Beauty Foundation is $35. So you guys can just convert for yourselves to see uh, how much that will cost you in rent. And just to read up about it, it's a hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones long way light as air i really hope that is true okay so it's a okay let's just read here what they say about it a artist what am i reading a first of its kind hydrating long way foundation that delivers it all with comfortable medium to full coverage serious staying power and natural finish perfect for normal to dry skin all in a groundbreaking range of 50 shades pro filter fans have spoken and rihanna has listened for the first time ever medium to full coverage means serious long way in a hydrating foundation with the perfectly smooth natural finish that lets skin look like skin we are talking about natural not dewy like your skin just had a must needed drink of water. Now that we're done reading and rambling, let me get it out of the package. Oh, guys, so this is how it looks like. It is a, like a tube and it's unlike the other one that is glass, this is made from like plastic so it won't break. And when you open it up, it has a pump. I find it weird that they would put like a pump on a tube because I would thought it would be like a squeezy tube. But in any way, this is how it looks like. I'm going to put like one drop of this on my hand so that we can see the consistency. So as you guys can see here, it is not really dripping. So it is moving slightly, but it's quite a thick foundation. It doesn't literally like just roll down your hand if you have it on. And you guys know what I do when I do uh, foundation tests. I'm going to go in with a brush and I'm going to go in with the sponge. So one side will be a brush and one side will be a sponge. Guys, uh, just going a little bit off topic. I don't know if you guys can notice that I don't have any product in my eyebrows. I just did like soap eyebrows and I didn't add anything. I saw a video recently and I loved it. I'm just like, okay, I need to try it. So I tried this yesterday. Okay, so guys, I'm going to use the sponge on this side. I'm not going to prime because uh, I don't usually prime. So I wouldn't want to introduce a new product. And that will just be a thing. to full coverage mm, no this is like light to medium 
Maybe it's the sponge, but no. Like, as you guys can see, this side has foundation, and this side doesn't have any foundation. Um, even though I have foundation on, you can still see my skin peeking through, which is, like, my vibe. Let me go in with this Real Techniques brush. I usually... <laughs> which I'm impressed by because you know I wasn't there when this foundation was bought so I just basically just hoped and believed that it will work like what I currently have now guys I'm trying out a new camera I don't even know the settings I feel like <laughs> Everything like looks exactly the same. I have no idea. Okay, even adding this side with the brush, in my opinion, I can definitely confirm that it's more light to medium coverage instead of the full coverage. I don't know how many pumps you would need to make it full coverage, but I'm not hating it. Um, this is for days where I'm going like more natural. Um, and it's literally, like I said, it's not like shiny. It's, I don't know how long it'll actually last and how it looks after a few hours, but it looks, it looks like I have a natural glow instead of just it like drying down, looking like I have foundation on. So this side is the side I used the brush on and this side is the side I used the sponge on. Let me just zoom into my mirror here. Definitely, there's more coverage, as always, on the side where I used. Um, the brush. So, that is just the first application. Uh, just comment down below, let me know what you think. But I love the color, it matches me perfectly. I think this foundation will be so good for the summer. Well, for me, because spring is more about glowy, natural looking vibes. And I think that will work. Uh, I'm just a bit worried about my T-zone area because that usually gets oily. So that's the part I need to really monitor to see if it will get any oily in the next few hours. But yeah, let me finish off. I'm gonna do like something simple because I want us to like focus on the foundation. Let me quickly do the rest of my face and I will be back. Guys, this is the final look. I did a little bit of eyeshadow that matches the color of my dress, a nude lipstick, and basically my normal routine. Added some concealer, added the Laura Mercier translucent powder, added a little bit of highlighter and some blush. So I didn't put on false lashes like I mentioned. I mean, I am going to be cooking. I'm not really going anywhere. So I thought that would be like a bit of an overkill for me to put on false lashes and go like a bit crazy. Because the main focus of this is the foundation. So I want us to basically stick to the brief. So yeah, I've had this thing on for almost 45 minutes now and it looks exactly the same way it looked before um i did anything to it i mean i'm not shiny uh i still look smooth i still look nice and i love the color guys it really matches my my body very well i'm sorry if i keep looking that way that's where my monitor is and i'm like i keep checking if i'm in focus but anyway so yeah uh, I love it. It's not tacky at all. I mean, I'm looking at it and it's not full coverage like I mentioned. So you can still see my skin peeking through. I don't know how well you guys can see that on camera, but I can definitely still see my skin through the foundation. And like I said, I want to monitor the T-zone area to see if it will like get more shiny than um, normal like or more shiny than other places on my face because that's the place where I mostly get oily but other than that I'm not really an oily kind of person or even dry I'm like basically combination skin so I'm gonna try check in in the next two hours uh, or in the next hour or so just to 
give you guys my final thoughts on the foundation but so far so good i mean i love the packaging like i said i'm a very clumsy person and having something that will not break oh guys it's so refreshing i mean i can literally just travel with it everywhere and not have uh, a lot of stress guys i'm back and it is currently 9 p.m so i've had this foundation from like quarter past five so for a little bit over three hours um i've had this foundation on which is not bad i mean looking at how i look right now i still look basically the same i mean i don't really have a lot of shine just like maybe here here a little bit but nothing like dramatic i can probably wear this for a few more hours and i have like deep smile lines so there you can see a little bit of the foundation cracking but even around my nose which is quite normal for me because that usually happens all the time the only problem i'm having which is not the foundation's fault is my mascara basically just went and just ruined my under eyes for some weird reason but yeah i'm feeling like quite comfortable and great in this foundation i mean it is looking very natural i ate i cooked i ate i chilled so i mean and it still didn't budge so i'm super impressed by it and i'll definitely be wearing it this summer this spring um yeah i love foundations i love fenty as long as i'm drinking kombucha you know trying to be healthy but yeah so let me show you the foundation again just my final words it is hydrating it doesn't dry up your skin it doesn't feel make you, your skin feel like it's cracking it is good for my skin especially because of i am combination but i think i'm combination but more on the dry side i don't know if it's an actual skin type but i mean i'm not shiny at all i mean i thought i'd be more shiny by now but i'm not even shiny at all so i'm quite impressed with how it is performing on my particular skin i'm happy with the color i am happy with the price i mean this is not an expensive foundation it's quite reasonably priced so i'm quite happy with that and i'm happy with the packaging i would have liked it to not be like a, a pump but more of a squeezy tube but other than that like i'm quite satisfied with the product as a whole i'm super excited to be wearing it um all spring and summer long thank you so much for tuning in and i hope you guys enjoyed this mini review that i did of the hydrating foundation by fenty beauty we need to get those subscribers up um and yeah just get my channel growing like i said i'm gonna be more consistent i know i've been slacking a lot but i am like more committed more focused and yeah i'm enjoying uh this journey that i'm currently on so yeah thank you so much for the support and stay amazing stay sane and yeah be grateful